The Mythical Landscape of the Judgment of Paris, a painting by Claude Lorraine. In the West Building, Main Floor, Gallery 36, a painting of the Judgment of Paris by Claude Lorraine invites us to admire a mythical scene set in a vast, distant landscape. Painted in 1645-1646, this horizontal painting is a harmonious blend of natural and spiritual elements. The painting depicts a story from Greek mythology about a musical contest between Apollo and Pan, conflating the entire narrative into one scene. Pan, the wild god of shepherds and flocks, who has a man's body and hairy goat's legs, challenged Apollo, the god of music, to the competition and blew a rustic melody on his pipes that delighted King Midas. Then, Apollo played his lyre so beautifully that the mountain god, Timulus, who judged the contest, declared Apollo the victor. Midas disagreed and Apollo gave Midas a donkey's ears for his poor judgment. In the painting, Paris, a Trojan prince, sits on a rock near a cave opening, holding a staff and pointing at one of the three goddesses who compete for the golden apple of discord. The apple, inscribed with the words to the fairest, was thrown by the goddess of strife, Eris, at the wedding of Peleus and Thetis, sparking a quarrel among Herol, Athena, and Aphrodite. Zeus, the king of the gods, assigned Paris the task of judging who was the most beautiful. Each goddess tried to bribe him with a different gift, Hera offered him the rule of Asia and Europe, Athena offered him wisdom and skill in war, and Aphrodite offered him the love of Helen, the most beautiful woman in the world. Paris chose Aphrodite, thus earning the enmity of the other two goddesses and setting in motion the events that led to the Trojan War. The three goddesses stand with an air of celestial grace, their pale skin glowing against the backdrop of nature's lush embrace. Each woman is depicted with brown hair pulled back elegantly to reveal faces marked by straight noses and parted lips, symbols of their divine origin. Athena sits on a golden rod yellow cloth draped rock, her warrior essence symbolized by a metal helmet with a red feather beside her and a long lance resting beneath her cloth. Hera stands central among the trio, her royal stature accentuated by coral red dress under lapis blue cloth that billows like smoke behind her. A peacock, her sacred animal, stands next to her, displaying its colorful feathers. Aphrodite's nude form is partially veiled by white cloth showcasing her enchanting beauty. A winged child holding an arrow stands amidst this divine gathering, Eros, god of love, his presence underscoring the romantic tension permeating through this serene landscape. Lorraine's mastery lies not just in capturing these mythological figures but also in portraying nature as an entity alive and breathing. The rocky outcropping housing the cave rises majestically while tall trees enclose half of this picturesque scene. A waterfall tucked into shadows adds mystique while hazy purple mountains loom in distance under mauve pink clouds sweeping across vivid blue skies. A winding river leads through the background until the mountains disappear in an atmospheric haze. Six sheep lie or graze along the grassy ground, closer to us, creating a pastoral mood. This masterpiece is one of the many examples of the artistic style of Claude Lorraine, a French painter who was influenced by the Italian Baroque and Classical traditions. He was a student of Agostino Tassi and often borrowed figures from his compositions. Lorraine's style is characterized by his use of light and color to create a sense of harmony and depth. He used bright and contrasting colors to create a vibrant and dynamic painting. He added his own touch by using realistic and expressive details, such as the texture of the robes and the hair, and the gestures of the hands. He combined these elements with his own originality and creativity, and created a distinctive style that made him one of the most influential and prolific painters of his time. His paintings, in particular, are renowned for their emotion, expression, and richness.